Todd Slepian. I'm the North American republishing producer for Alone in the Dark. Alone in the Dark has come very far since you guys originally saw it in 2006. And there's been updates to the script, there's been updates to the engine that everybody's been using to create the game. We were very influenced by TV shows like Lost and 24, which um, have character development, plot twists, um, and cliffhangers um, in each episode, which leads you to the next episode. What we've done in this game is we've presented this in a series of episodes which all have the same thing. There's storyline, character development, plot twists, and then cliffhangers, which then lead you to the next episode. So each episode will contain um, some problem solving, some puzzle solving, uh, driving, um, and action on foot. We have a lot of features we think that will stand out that um, you won't be able to get in a lot of other adventure titles. A fire, The fire that's in the game propagates um, across all flammable surfaces and across all flammable objects. And you can use the fire as a weapon. You can break off a leg from a table and put, put it in the fire and then use it as a torch and light your way in a dark room or swing it at your enemies and use it as, as a weapon. And we have no HUD. We have no health bar, we have no ammo bar. Every, we, we're trying to keep you in the game and not take you out to separate screens that will take you away from the action. The character's physical damage will be reflected on his character. If his, if his leg is bleeding, he'll walk slower. If his arm is hurt, he may have pro problems picking up an object. Also, we do the inventory system in real time in his jacket. So Carnby will open up his jacket and he'll see all the items that he has and he can pick and choose from those items during the game. What we've also done is we, we allow the player to set certain hotkeys during the game to combine certain items in their hands and be able to select them um, on the fly. The character is, is the same original character from the first Alone in the Dark. His name is Edward Carnby. He's a, a professor, um, he's a paranormal investigator, and he was also in World War I, so that's where he learned to fight. There are other characters who will help you in, in your quest to figure out what's going on. There are also other characters who are trying to prevent you from finding out what's going on. But the story is, is told through, through Edward Carnby. Lorenzo Carcaterra, who wrote the book Sleepers, has written the script for Alone in the Dark. Uh, he's also a native New Yorker, so we feel that he gives it a real good New York feel since the entire game takes place in New York. Uh, Alone in the Dark will be coming in spring 2008 for Xbox 360, the PC, uh, PS2, and Wii uh, from Atari.